Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today, um, a scenario by Real Sweet. All this talk of torpedo rams. The Imperial Japanese Navy wants to test the idea. So, I'm going to build a battle cruiser designed as a torpedo ram. And I'm taking it. I'm actually going to give them a bit of a tech disadvantage. I'm going to go up against China. They have an old battleship and uh, some transports. And I need to see if this can 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 work, basically. So we're going to go with... I think we'll go with a large cruiser today. Uh, the Torpedo Ram. Now then... Uh, this is a very, very funky ship, by the way. Uh, and you can do lots of weird things with it. What? <laughs> oh my word, yes. Okay. Because um, the tower placement on this thing, let's just say, is extremely free. <laughs> oh, dear me. Right. 78. Mind you, smoke interference doesn't matter as much because we're going with a torpedo ram built. Um, <laughs> oh my word. This is so silly. Right. Maximum bulk kids. Obviously, range is not important. I'm going to want to go as fast as possible for as long as possible. How fast can that be? Oh yeah. 43. Four knots seems a little bit on the silly side, but okay. Uh... <sighs> Why not? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Should uh, deal with the transports nicely. Um, and then we're going to go for 24 inch. We're going to go for screw it. We're going to go for the fast ones. Now I do need some main guns. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, damn weird. Damn, damn weird. So, can you can you guess what I'm I'm going to do yet? Ah. <laughs> oh. Wait, offset. Okay, can just get rid of those ones then. Come on, game. As close as I can get it. So a couple of nine inch guns uh, and then torpedo launchers. Seems a perfectly sensible ship. <laughs> around with these. No. Oh, I could put a gun on the front. I'm so silly. Uh, although it just does, uh, it does look funny like that. 
<laughs> I don't want to make the full weight offset anyway. So yeah, this is all for killing the transports. And then uh, we've got a lot of torpedoes in the back. So it should work fine, right? Sure. Um... Uh, yeah, why not autoloaders? Super heavy lidites. Millie, there's nobody there. Ship is overweight? Really? Really? How, how is the hell is the ship overweight? Torpedo launch is that heavy? Yeah, not compared to a gun, they're not. <coughs> uh. Excuse me. Uh, we'll keep going. Mind you, I do, I, this thing is stupidly fast, so... I might have to reduce speed to, like, 40 knots. Uh, actually, how fast can we go on a balanced boiler? Oh, 40 knots. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> um... Radar's not important. We just want a ton of armor on this thing. Hmm. What's my flash fire chance at the moment? 5%? Okay, cool. No, okay. We'll go with standard shells then. Um. Still need to drop something to get a little bit more armor on the ship. I don't need a high frame. Maybe I should go with gear, gear turbines just for the weight saving. And then we will go with 20 inches extended belt. <laughs> as the ram, uh, not that that actually matters, uh, say, I don't know, six inch deck extended so that this is, this whole bit is very, very heavily armored. Um, 20 inches on the tower so that when it's firing, like when this ship's taking fire, it's just very, very, very heavily protected on the front. There we go. Uh, I believe this is uh, a very, very silly ship. <laughs> um, but uh, why not? Sure. Yeah. Makes perfect sense, right? Oh, my word. Um. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yes, yeah, although well, I do complain about torpedoes a lot, but um, this is partly why, but, um, you know, that's more when you're trying to be serious. I think you should still be allowed to, like, do very silly things like this. I don't think this is going to be any good. This should not be any good. Right, torpedoes off. Let's go! Ow! Really? Come on, you was only a partial. It's like we're fighting a type of dreadnought ship. Not really much to do, because uh, we're just closing in. Even a destroyer has a bow gun. Nope. 
Well, we do have bow guns. It's just they're two inch guns. <laughs> yeah, um, if you took torpedo tubes off, that could be like a helicopter deck, I guess. Transports! Hello, transports. Your uh, battleship is leaving you dangerously unguarded. Battle, uh, transports? <laughs> so we'll just uh, pop some shots into you while we're uh, while we're here. This one. Appears to be a spirited attempt by something to uh, kill me. Ah, we have a uh, an ID on the enemy battleship. Twenty three knots, so we're a lot faster than it is. Sixteen inch two powder guns. Out of interest. Yeah, they're gonna have they're gonna have real trouble with me. As we uh murder transports on the way in. They can go through the belt at like minimum range. How many hits have we taken? Uh, eight from those 16 inch guns. Oh, the two inch of firing. There you go. There you are, bow guns. Hey, we even did damage. <laughs> of course we did. He's trying to get away from me, of course. Stop going at an annoying angle, you little so-and-so. Oof. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Get him! Get him! Ah, uh, gotcha! <laughs> right, torpedoes, aggressive. No idea what's going on. Torpedo said that they fired, but I don't know where they went. <laughs> uh, 
I don't want to use the rudder. Fine, I'll use the rudder. Everyone's like, oh, use the, use the manual rudder. Manual rudder sucks. Anyway, my rudder's damaged. And I'm nearly dead. <laughs> so are they, though. I don't know what happened to my torpedoes, but, um, yep, not firing for some reason. Oh, there we go. They are now starting to fire at random. Oh my word. Didn't have time to arm. Yeah. Some stupid fool put a safety on them. I mean, we can try coming around. But yeah, sadly, the I think the torpedoes uh, were a bit balked. We're still going, somehow. How fast are we going? We're hitting nearly 30 knots and none of our own main engines work. We can come around and try again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like that uh, that discussion on the, was it the Mark 14 um, torpedo. their ship cost 82 million and ours is 99 yeah it's not an effective weapon <laughs> we're somehow getting another shot at this which seems insane <laughs> well, what I think is amazing is that the Mark, the Mark 14 torpedo, if it had worked, and if the uh, Board of Ordnance hadn't been so pick-headed and rubbish, the war might have been in the Pacific might have been a lot shorter. Oh my word, this is a very, very silly battle. Still able to do 22-8. Been reloaded yet? No. Get him. Get him. 
That's it. That's it. Right up the jack seat. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And sinks. <laughs> Both of them. There you go. <laughs> what absolute nonsense. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyway, there you go. There is a very, very silly design for you. How much would it cost without the torpedoes? Because the torpedoes would have wrecked him. Okay, the torpedoes weren't even that much. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> Stupid safeties on the on the on the torpedoes ruined. Perfectly good drive by, but nevertheless, a uh, a very silly ship um, for you today. Those of you on YouTube, uh, and I'm going to say uh, goodbye, and I'm going to see you in the next video. <laughs>